This article was originally published by the art newspaper, editorial partner of CNN Style. Leading activist and photographer Kwame Brathwaite, whose work helped define aesthetic, Black is Beautiful, movement of 1960s and beyond, on April 1st at age 85. His son, Kwame Brathwaite, Jr., announced his father's in an Instagram post that partly reads, I'm so sorry to share that my father, the head of our family, our rock and hero, has changed. Brathwaite's work has garnered renewed interest from curators, historians, and collectors recent years, and first major corporate retrospective hosted by the Aperture Foundation debuted in 2019 at Skirball Cultural Center Los Angeles. Country Kwame Brathwaite credits Corey Rice Brathwaite was born Barbadian immigrants when he called the Brooklyn People's Republic in New York 1938, but his family moved from there to Harlem and then the South Bronx when Brathwaite was five years old. He attended the School of Industrial Arts and developed a two-minute interest in photography, according to Brathwaite's profiles in Key Magazine and Vice. The first happened in August of 1955, when a 17-year-old Brathwaite came across the haunting photograph of a brutal Emmett Till in David Jackson's open coffin. Second, in 1956, after co-founding the African Jazz Arts Association and Studios with his brother Alam, Brathwaite saw a young man take a photo without flash in Dark Jazz Club, and his mind was enlightened by the possibility. A 1966 photograph of models adopting Brathwaite's natural hair. Source courtesy of the Kwame Brathwaite archive he continued to photograph performing jazz legends throughout the 1950s and 60s, including Brathwaite, Miles Davis, John Coltrane, Thelonious Monk, and others. You want to get the feeling, the mood you experience when they play, Brathwaite told Aperture Magazine in 2017. You want to catch this. In the early 1960s, along with the rest of the jazz, Brathwaite began using her photography and organizing skills to deliberately step back against whitewashed, Eurocentric standards of beauty. The group came up with the concept of Grandassa models, made up of young black women, for whom Brathwaite would photograph, celebrate, and highlight their features. In 1962, a jazz-hosted, Naturally 62, a fashion show featuring models, held at a Harlem club called Purple Man. The show would run regularly until 1992. In 1966, Brathwaite married his wife, Sicolo, a model grandassa, whom he had met on the street the previous year, when asked if he could take her portrait. The two remained married for the rest of Brathwaite's life. Women in a car gathered for the annual Garvey Day event to commemorate black activist Marcus Garvey. Courtesy Kwame Brathwaite archive in the 1970s, Brathwaite's focus on jazz shifted to other popular forms of black music. In 1974, he went to Africa with Jackson 5 to document their tour, and that same year he photographed historic Rumble and Jungle boxing match between Muhammad Ali and George Foreman in what is now Democratic Republic of Congo. Commissions during this period also saw Brathwaite photograph Nina Simone, Stevie Wonder, Sly and the Family Stone, Bob Marley, and other music legends. Over next decades Brathwaite continued to explore and develop his own style of photography, purely through the lens of, Black is Beautiful, ethos. In 2016, Brathwaite joined the staff of the Philip Martin Gallery in Los Angeles and continues to photograph commissions, as in 2018 when she shot artist and stylist Joanne Petit Frere for The New Yorker. T Magazine's 2021 profile, published on occasion of Brathwaite's retrospective trip to Blanton Museum of Art in Austin, Texas, noted that photographer's health had deteriorated so badly that he was unable to be interviewed for article. A separate exhibition, Kwame Brathwaite Things Worth Waiting For, is currently open at the Art Institute of Chicago until July 24. Top Kwame Brathwaite, Untitled, 1968